Hey everyone, and welcome to a bit of an extra video here that I really wanted to get out before the end of the game week. And this is when you should use your wild card. A lot of people last year I found use their wild card after game week one. And unless you really got the rotation wrong and you're not going to be having 11 players play consistently after game week one that you've noticed, I'm going to suggest you probably wait this one out and I'll show you why. Last year, around, I think it was game week 25, 26, or something like that, we had a massive blank game week, followed by several double game weeks. Now, I say massive, I thought there were like less than five games that ran in one of the game week or something like that, which left a lot of people with n not a starting 11. And I was fortunate that I kind of looked into this a little earlier and started planning for this well ahead of time. Uh, one reason that Sometimes it's hard, uh, hard with certain players missing is because of AFCON. That is not a tr uh, tournament this year, I don't think. I think it's every two years. We had it last year. I have a question mark. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong. But the big blank and double game weeks were caused by the Italian Super Cup or the Super Copa. And uh, another thing is Serie A fantasy tends to leave big decisions late or sometimes fixture uh, updates like where it's either times or putting uh the double game week fixtures where they should or showing the blank game weeks i did notice that last year as well and i tried to um warn people a little earlier this uh this year because last year a lot of people had used their wild card before i brought this up so what i'm suggesting is use this wild card sparingly we'll talk about the super cup and why this impacts the blank game weeks or double game weeks the super cup dates are from January 2nd to 6th. And what the Super Cup is in Italy, it it used to just be one game tournament. Winner gets the trophy between the last league winner versus the Coppa Italia winner. And last year was the first year that it expanded to four teams and it is the finalists of both of those competitions now. And so we have four teams that are participating this year. We have Juventus, AC Milan, Inter Milan, and Atalanta, as Juve and Atalanta were the finalists for the Coppa Italia. Inter Milan won the Scudetto, and AC Milan was runners-up. So that's why those four teams are in this tournament. And it'll be a three-game tournament, two semifinals, and a final that take place between the 2nd and 6th of January. This falls in game week 19, which you can see all the fixtures for right here. Now, Juve plays Atalanta this week in the schedule, so we should have less teams not playing in this game week than last year. Um, but Bologna is supposed to face Inter, and Como is supposed to play Milan. So those are two other teams that could be affected by this. And, yes, yeah, so this happened last year. Um, it snuck up on a lot of people and I started making my transfers to prepare for this earlier. So I feel like I didn't get as impacted and I actually made up quite a bit of rank during this time, but I want to try to get this out before people start making their game week two plans and clicking that wildcard button. The decision though is do you wildcard into this or out of this? And what this means is if you're wildcarding into the blank game week, you are running your team like normal for the first 18 game weeks and you use your wildcard to put all these players in that making sure, or basically making sure you have 11 starting players for the blank game week. And then you run your team from there. Now, remember, you only have one wildcard all season. That is the only chip that Serie A Fantasy gives you. So you have to use this sparing. Uh, the other option is to wild card out, which is what I'd probably do. And I'd use my transfers leading up to this blank game week to ensure that I have 11 starting players that will be taking place in that game week. And then after that, because this means you probably will not have many, if any, Juve, Inter, or AC Milan, or Atalanta players. But after this blank game week occurs, you press the wild card button, and now you set your team up for the second half of the season. Um, One strategy might be to try to keep using the lower, I guess, team players and use the wild card for the double game week. We just don't know if all of those fixtures will be put on one game week, making it a big double game week, or they're going to be sprinkled amongst the game weeks and you have a bunch of little double game weeks. So I think my play will be to make transfers, make sure I have a starting 11 for the blank game week and wild card out of that right away because you're likely wild carding into uh inter players juve players ac milan players atalanta players bologna maybe probably not too many from como um 
and then you can maybe get in specific players for when those double game weeks happen but that i think is going to be my play is going to be to wild card out of the blank game week and set myself up for the second half of the season but i do believe that it's very important to know that this part of the season will happen at some point and in my team selection and review videos i'll be bringing this up again closer to probably once we start getting to around game weeks 15 16 17 18 um because that's when you should really be thinking about getting out those players from the bigger teams and transferring in players that will be playing in game week 19. Hopefully that this uh, video is informative and helps you out. I do think it's something that people wouldn't be looking at because it doesn't really show that in uh, the Serie A fantasy fixture schedule right now. So I'm hoping this helps you. Hope it makes it beneficial to be following the channel. Please subscribe and I will talk to you again soon. We're almost at the end of the game week here. The Atalanta Lecce game will be finishing soon. Um, and so hopefully we got a review coming. Take care.